Hello everybody, and welcome back to Heaven's Vault. Uh, my name is Dizzy, and it's been a while. Uh, it's been a long while. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to say hey to you there in the chat. Uh, thanks for stopping by, even momentarily. Uh, yeah, it's a mystery game. In space, doing archaeology. Not actually sure at this point if there is much of a mystery, or if we're just actually just doing archaeology? Like, originally... So there's this guy, right? Renba. He's at the, the top here. And originally we were like, oh, we gotta find this Renba guy. <laughs> and then... Uh, we found his ship. And Alia, our character, who is not a very nice person, it must be said, uh, concluded that he was dead. And then he sent us a message. Which... Initially meant I concluded that he wasn't dead and was merely missing. Uh, then we flew around all over everywhere, following up on this sort of mystery thing that he found. Because he found, like, the body of some emperor and one of his friends slash our boss was, is apparently claiming that she's the emperor reincarnated, but... The Emperor kind of reincarnated because of space cosmology mysticism stuff. Uh, and we found lots and lots of like ancient planets and sites that no one else has ever been to before because I am more or less like the only archaeologist in all of existence, it seems. Uh, and yeah, I don't really know, like. There's this vault, right? It's in the, the game's title. Heaven's Vault. Um, there's sort of this generic thing about, oh, well, there's a prophecy about it. But mostly it's just, we're trying to find it because it's there. Um, and we have a very, very vague idea of where it might be. Uh, we're currently here on Elbreth. I can't remember why we're on Elbreth. Oh, that's right, we found a child. So I'm a mum now. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we found a child at an old sort of, like, trading station. And basically, Elbereth, the city, you access it by a teleporting gate. And the child said the wrong word. And... Oh. Oh. Just trying to step over and it keeps bouncing me back. Yeah, so the child thought he was dead. Uh, is it good to be back? You can smell this place, can't you? <laughs> okay, he doesn't like the smell. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Yeah, we found a dead child at like an old abandoned marketplace. The teleporter here will teleport you like halfway across the galaxy to aforementioned marketplace if you say the wrong words to activate it. But he won't tell us what that word is. I will say a lot of this game is about like translating an ancient language. Oh there's a guy up there. Hi there. This is our friend Timor. Ah the child is called Amir apparently. There we go. Alia. And this is... Du -du -du. Ah, Timur recognises him. He's been gone for nearly a year. I don't know, Kisreth. Timur, what did you do? He's the one. Uh oh. He's the one who sent me to the gate. What happened to you? Where did you go? Oh, hello. Oh, this is not the story he told us. Interesting.
tell me about the robot, Amir. There were no people on board at all, only robots. Oh, this is our robot, Six. He's a little upset, apparently. Good faith. Right, okay. So... Timor, you've got a little bit of explaining to do. I just rescued that child off of a different planet! I don't know, Alia? It wasn't obvious to you as a child working here? No, it wasn't. No, I've not got a clue. I worked here in the bar. Never went near any ships. Uh huh. We're too honest, too stubborn, even then. Alia, a lot of people have worked for me. To grow up, some go rotten, others go their own way. You slipped away when I had a place for you here. I left home, okay. I won't let you inherit what I have. Orphans can't be adopted, that's the law. Oh, that's a weird law. Okay, sure. So let's look after all this one gone. Someone who deserves it, someone I can trust. I see, okay. Kisreth, King of Thieves. Oh, okay. It's not the right name. I should be Ya Ekatenia, he who protects. Three. Protector of what exactly? Of Elbreth. There isn't enough food here. There never has been. Oh, okay. So he gets the kids to steal the food from the robot ships. Nyozi has more food than it needs, it all goes to Iox, no one needs to go without. Travel to ruined worlds, seen a hundred broken moons. You must know by now whoever lights the flames the first to burn. Is that true? <laughs> no one else could grow up here and not realise what this place was, but you, you always see hope. Marvellous, great. Oh, okay. I'll come back to our breath one day. Not yet, but one day. The boy will be safe with me. Okay, that's good. I promise you that. Don't be a stranger. I wasn't planning to. I also wasn't really planning to leave yet. Okay, so he had the boy stealing food from the ship. So if you're if you're new here, basically, uh the I'm one of the few people who actually uses a ship as a person. Most of the ships are crewed by robots. Uh, because it's sort of considered bad luck for people to travel on the rivers. Uh, oh yeah, all the space is connected by rivers, like space rivers. <laughs> That's probably quite important. Uh, And yeah, Iox, which is another planet or moon, is sort of like the leading imperial power. And they control Elbreth, this place, they control Maezi, which is like a farming moon. And then there's like an independent place. In fact, I'll show you the map. So we're on Elbreth here. Uh, Iox is in charge of anything. I was sort of taken from Iox to work for... This guy, uh, Mayari, this person, Mayari. Uh, 
And then there's Renaki, which is like an independent moon. There's Mayati, the food moon. So this is all Iox space. And then this is independent. This is all kind of crazy. And then most of this area is stuff that we've mapped out ourselves by going to different places. As you can see, there's this place where we found lots of spooky uh, heads on stones, like holographic heads. They use the same sort of technology as the robots. We found the Withering Palace, where we think people are turned into robots and like stored on little data reels. Um... Yes, there might still be lots and lots of robots there. And six, our robot might have been made there. We found this place that was for like launching spaceships. And then this is the observatory. It's somewhere out here, but it's too far for us to get to. Um, and this, the market moon, is where we found Amir. And somebody had been taking stuff to and from here, or using it as like a storage place, because there was fresh food here that allowed him to survive for like a whole year. We're not really sure who or why. So that's a summary of our of our time here, and then we also have lots and lots of inscriptions, lots of inscriptions. Uh, in fact, if we go to solvable inscriptions. So these are the ones that we could like mark off if we wanted to, but we have I don't know, probably like a hundred of these. Oh, we got a new word. Right, so what is this? Give. We've got give here, so this could well be sell. We know that this is not the word for after. Uh, oh, we have a careful in chat. Welcome. Hi there. I just randomly clicked on an inscription that's apparently solvable and decided to to sell it. Sell. Sell before you buy. Sure. Okay. Alia is back. Alia is back. We just had a bit of a confrontation with Timor. Apparently he's been like feeding the entire moon of Elbereth because there's not enough food. So he's been like getting children to steal food. And that's how Amir ended up uh, being taken to the gate. I have heard all that Master Timor told you. And what do you think? I think I have no choice to inform my primary users. Users, plural. Okay. Sure, that's fine. I'm not planning to go back there anytime soon. Uh, let's see if Timo has anything else to say. Because I didn't, I didn't feel like I'd finished with him just then. Alia, hello. Amia. It's good to see you. Uh, I mean, I actually can't see him. Will you be here for long? I always come back. It's good, this place hasn't changed while I was dead. Just as unfriendly. Except him, or... Has he been kind? Careful says, oh, he brought the boy here, Curious. Is that Curious? I, I mean, I'm not sure where else I would have brought him. Oh, he's off. Toodles. Oh, I remember what the robot said to the gate. Tell me, tell me. If her alley. If her alley. Okay. What does it mean? I'll see if I can find out. Oh, we have a Shesko here as well. Hi there, Shesko. Don't say it to the gate or it will kill you. Gotcha. Good to know. 
this a rally? Okay. The robot doesn't know what it means. Maybe Timor knows what it means. Or maybe we can ask the Maezians? They seem to know lots of uh, ancient. Hi. Bye. Right. Okay, so. I saw Amir. He looks well. I mean, I, we literally only left him like a few minutes ago. He goes up to get kissed faster than the shout. He likes running errands. Thank you for taking him in. We're going to actually be nice to Timor. He's a nice boy, quiet, doesn't talk much. He was on his own for a year. That will that will happen to you. This is the thing we always say. It was a rush yesterday, maybe the day before. Oh, a drink. Haha! <laughs> Let's have a sip. Oh! You have gifts. I like gifts. It's some kind of a hefty axe! From the Steel Empire. Blade seems to be inscribed. Goody goody goody! More writing. Another two word phrase, apparently. What have we got here? We've got oh, two of this symbol I don't really know, but they are people. Swing? Uh, careful. While I'm not straight up racist towards Alberethians like Six, I was always very hesitant to bring a child without guardian to a planet with an active slave trade. That's a fair point, I suppose. Um. You know, that's, that's maybe something I should have considered and totally didn't think of it at all. But I was just like, well, he's from here. So, like, we're just taking him home. I mean, if I had the choice, I would have kept him on the boat with me permanently. But then I'm the sort of person who just wants to have, like, a little bit of a, a gang going on. Master Craftsman, I feel. His dialogue when setting was on. It was. Okay, right. <laughs> the Steel Empire site, easy to find. Thanks. Good faith to me. Okay. <laughs> We don't always need more people insulting Alia. We just need more people to make Alia be a... We need more opportunities for Alia to be a good person. Uh, no thanks. Alright, well, thanks for the stuff. I like stuff. I'm stuck on a wall. Hi, Sex. Plus, I want someone who I can be nicer to than Six, because every time I try and be nice to Six, the game is also like, let's be mean to Six. Like, every time I say something nice, the game immediately cancels it out. So, uh, I feel like if I had the child, then Alia might have someone who she can be nice to and just be nice to, instead of always tit for tatting with, with the robot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 not back to the ship. Not back to the ship. Not back to the ship! Ha <laughs> ha! God damn you, game! I was trying to get here. Oh, where is it taking me? Where is it taking me? <laughs> where is it taking me? Okay, right. Let's let me go. Approach the gate. Alright, now I probably have the option of saying if a rally, right? Spoke a word to the gate. 
Is it back here at all? I could say if the rally. But then I might end up stuck on that moon. Um. I don't know if the game will let me get stuck on the moon, but it's definitely an option. It's an objectively bad idea to say if or Ali because I don't know how to get back. Any Sally Kahood Maybe six will fly to you and get you. Well not if well six is in the gate. He gets teleported with me. Oh, but I do want to. I'll speak to, to Tappy and uh my friend first. You wanna see it? <laughs> Oh no. I can't drop like a manual save either to save scum doing it. Uh... <laughs> okay, everyone wants to see me get stuck on the moon. Okay, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Uh... Alia, come on in. Hi there. Uh, how's it going? I found the source of your brass artifact. Spell what you saw. An ancient market in ruins. A market? Was there stuff there? Was there treasure beyond my wildest dreams? There was a boy. You'd somehow wandered through the Cat Kiss Gate. Did you know the Cat Kiss Gate is a long distance hopper? There's a word you could say that takes you there. What word? That word. Like the sound of a distant rolling symbol. Is it? Um. I wouldn't recommend trying it, I will say. Uh. I've got an axe. How did I get the axe through the gate? The gate doesn't like weapons. So how did I give get you the axe? Oh, well, never mind. Maybe it doesn't count? Okay. We've got more things. Fragment of an ancient river chart. Bring me something I can use. Oh, he's very unhappy. No more, no more. Oh, stop, shut up about your eyes. Um, the axes didn't count. I think possibly not sharp or wrong material. That's a good point, actually. How... If I blunt a knife enough, is it no longer a knife? How is the... You did use cat kiss, right? I th Oh, hello. Well, blah, 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 blah. Uh... I don't know what he's saying. I think he's offering to fix six. Can you change the primary user? These things run off their cores. I'm told you can swap them out fairly easily. Who told you that? A mutual friend. Anyway, bear it in mind, Alia. I don't know what what he what what, what prompted that because I wasn't looking at the screen. Uh, Kevin said, "Use Catkiss." I think I might have used the. I think I might have used Kibenya, not Catkiss. Does that matter? Are are Kibenya pilgrims allowed to use weapons? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm still not showing you the crown. It's good to know that like. Apparently, you could lobotomize six for me. We have one new artifact to trace. Are you ready to go yet? Ah, no, we've still got more to do. I don't actually know if we do still have more to do, but I want to go and see Ori anyway. Oh, no. congrats, Shaskor.
I've had enough of this place. I was here for a few seconds and I've had enough of it, which, to be fair, is pretty accurate. I mean, by mutual friend, he must have meant Oroi. She's the only person that he knows I know who works with robots. It was a very threatening camera shot, you know? Hi there! Alia, what can I do for you? Oh. Lol, bye! <laughs> okay, so she didn't want to know. Uh Okay, let's let's try and if our alley our way through the gate. I mean there must logically be a way back. You wouldn't set it up so that so that you couldn't get back if you were designing a system like this. We just gotta find it. Careful says no soft locks. That, I mean, also from a game design standpoint, but I could see there being like a game over screen of just like, you starved to death, congratulations. Um, Are oh, you ready to go now, mistress? Do you, do you have to say it in such a, a way? Alia, oh, what the robot said to make the gate... We know what the gate said. Some kind of ancient instruction. The place we found there must have been quite exclusive once. I feel like if there's a massive teleporting thing there, then it wasn't very exclusive at all. But what do I know? Okay. If for Ali. Set Ifar Ali, set Boyaki Cat Ifar. Maybe it works? Okay. Is asking where you would like to go. Oh, hello. Mayazi? Silen Ang. Mayazi, okay. Uh, I don't really want to go to Iox. Okay, go on. No, okay, it doesn't recognize Iox either. I don't want to go back to that moon. What well, name that knows ancient? Only, the only old name I know is Elbrath, which is much use. Okay. Are there any inscriptions in the gate six? Anything that boy might have found that we've missed? If the word was a password, it would not be written beside the lock. Good point. Okay, so... So they used to have... They had a system where they had... Off-river travel. They had... Like, interspace long distance hoppers. And they had better sailing ships than we have now. Kel says, must have been Elberthian slang again. Which, I'm not sure what they mean by that, but that's fine. Let's head off. I don't really know exactly where we're going. I think we're going to the Age of Steel site. <laughs> That's certainly an option, Chaskor. Uh What the heck did you say? <laughs> right. <laughs> the game really wants me to go to Iox. <laughs> oh dear. I was willing to go to Iox if it was to, to investigate the gate. But uh, otherwise we're going to try and avoid Iox where we can. Do you have anything new that we can have a look at? The nebula. Uh, Patois. 
Old Albarathian world supposedly ancient or like ancient. Yeah. But then apparently Iferali, or whatever the hell she said, wasn't like a known patois. Okay. Right, let's see where we're going. We've got three options. I guess we're going, as we're not going to Iox, and this one's a bit rough to get to, I guess we're going to the Steel Empire site. Okay, so that, this was a place of miners, basically. Is what we've got from all the things. There's a lantern and a minecart and some other things. But if we think this was the Steel Empire, don't we? Aren't we thinking that the Steel Empire was run by robots? Isn't that why we called it the Steel Empire? Which incidentally is a word that only we know in the entire setting. Uh Oh yeah, I do need to figure out where we are going. Honestly, I kind of want to go like this way. If we can. So I'm going to go left here. It's been a while since I've tried to control the boat. <laughs> I think it's way too professional. Let's call it the Unicorn Empire. Um. I'm not sure about that. Oh, apparently I've missed a turning already. Right, we basically we want that's a merge, and then we want a left turn. Oh, apparently we think they may also be sculptors for some reason. Oh, that's a good point. We do have those feet, and we don't know what they are because we now think they weren't gods. Uh, where are we going? We're turning right here. Oh. Well, the game wants us to go left. Hang on. Sorry, I know this is a very hands-on... Very hands-on steering. Right. No, I want to go left here. I want to go left here, and then I want to go right. I think I've actually gone wrong, but that's fine. We'll 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 work it out. We'll work it out. Oh, I think left is the way to turn around. That's why it wants us to go that way. Well, we'll find out what's down here. <laughs> I've already reset quite a number of times at this point. Oh, I think I just sailed through that. Not ideal. Where are we going? Does anyone know? Well, we're on a very pretty bit of the river. Ow. Just scrape against the rock. There are uncharted waters to the right. There are uncharted waters everywhere, Six. Uh, I think we do want to turn right, though. Yes, sir. Left momentarily. Okie doke. Well, 
You know what? Seeing as we're here... I'm not actually sure that's the best ruin to go to. This might be the best ruin to go to. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, I can't see anything. That's fine. I gotta, I gotta role play like we can. Because it's a third person camera, so Alio is not actually seeing what we're seeing. Although, I have no idea where Alio is steering from. Maybe that little bubble on the back? Oh, there is a wreck there and all. Shall we go back for that one? Or we could grab that one. As there's one right here. A shipwreck! It's from ancient times, mistress. As opposed to all those modern shipwrecks that we found. Ooh, a map! I love a map! That makes sense. This is the end of a longer line of text. Sail and... Uh, never ends? No, okay. Right, okay. Yes, I know that translation is clearly incorrect. I'm working on it. I think this is like wet. Like translation dry isn't correct. Okay. Oh no, no, okay. Sail fast. And free is a good one. Never stop. Never stop. Sail fast and free and never stop. I can understand that. Right. Where are we where are we going <laughs> at this point? I think we're going to this one. There are a lot of leads on the unknown extremely ancient site now. Is that the one we're talking to? Yes, okay, the unknown extremely ancient site is this site. Apparently we've got a lot of leads. Doesn't feel like we've got a lot of leads. But apparently we've got a lot of leads. Okay. We're in slow river mode, that's fine. Oop. Got me crashing straight into a pillar. Where the hell do we go now? Uh Okay, we turn left here. There it is. Can I can I can I have it? There we go. Right. A ruin. Broken serpent statue fashioned from wood. The 
carving is pretty poor. This must have been made very quickly. No inscription. Oh god, we came off the river there. Okie doke. Uh, Kepler says, I forgot they turned this game into two novels. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's exciting, isn't it? Well, there's a ruin down here. I can't click on the ones that are in here. I think I have to, like, be uh, in the area to do that. I think I want them too, although I gotta obviously finish the game first. And I honestly have no idea how close we are to doing that. It feels like we're running out of leads. Which I guess ought to mean that the end of the game is close. But it doesn't feel like we have any way to get there. Oh well! We've got most of the pieces. Alia just hasn't been able to put them together yet. Turn right, apparently. Yeah, you know, we've got the idea of how to charge up the anti-gravity crystals. Maybe you're about to discover gold and silver as Kanto as well. Oh gosh, maybe. They should do that again. They should make a two-region game again. I think they should make a two region game where the, the the new region is based on Ireland and then you can also explore Galar because I don't feel like Galar got sort of justice done to it in Sword and Shield. We've entered an area of weaker flow once more. Duly noted, six. I'll just do me a little squish swish to get us to where we're supposed to be going. Wherever that may be. Okay, we're on the way. Uh, turning left, at me. It's just, there's a piece of debris some distance away. Not the one we are aiming towards. Where is it? Also, which one is the one we're aiming towards? I only wish I had a Pokemon at the moment, so that the developers rest given the time they need. Yes, that's true as well. We, we need like a year or two without a major Game Freak Pokemon release. Give it back to, to Chunsoft, let them make a, a new mystery dungeon. Let it be sprite based, not the horrible 3D mystery dungeon. Ruin here, a piss date from the Steel Empire. A copper cook's knife, as opposed to a copper stabbing knife. The hilt is inscribed. Something your loyalty. Okay. I feel like loyalty might not be a good one here. Um, give them time to actually make something good and not half baked like the new one. I mean, for what they had. Scarlet is excellent. Scarlet has gripped me like few Pokemon games have. It is a bit of a mess, and it doesn't run well on the hardware it's for. Uh, what do we think? Army? Demands your loyalty. That's frighteningly plausible. 
An army does march on its stomach, as they say. Oh, that's a Steel Empire site. One. Ah, here we go. Is that the one you're talking about? I think that's the one Six is talking about. Developers had a lot of care making it, they were just rushed. Yeah. Yeah. This is barely a shipwreck, to be honest. A scrap from a river chart. We've got lots of those. Writing around the outline of a cloud. One end of a blurry fragment of text. Okay, we got winds, that's nice. Can is also nice. What the hell is this word going to be? Uh, winds can change, I suppose. Although, of course, we don't sail on winds. So, we sail on, on rivers. Let's make the site we're currently looking for easier to locate. Marvelous news. Right. Okay, you're gonna tell me when we're in there. Uh, I want to go to that, but it's kind of tricky to get there from here. I don't know how we get there from here. It's going to be slow going. Find the rock. Busy steering, trying to take us straight into the rock. The game not letting us. Uh, six, I'd like some directional. There we go. There's a new river straight ahead. Neither of these is straight ahead. We want to go left. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is really slow river. ruins come from? Because they're quite small. Did they detach themselves from larger moons? Or are they like the worn down... Are they just the worn down remnants of former moons and stuff? I think that just disappeared when I tried to pull the course to it. So I did that. Okay. I don't like it when the game does that. Now it's not my favourite thing for it to do. I don't know why it does that either. Is it because they have decided to have like more ruins than there are artifacts?
Perhaps? I don't know. The vicinity of an unknown ancient site. I believe it's somewhere here. Well, we only have two choices, and we've only got one path, so I guess we're going this way. Not relevant to the place you want to find this logic. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes I just want to explore ruins for the sake of exploring ruins, game. Don't you know? I just want to have stuff because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I don't I don't care that much about finding the ancient site. <laughs> just on one little long snaky bit. We're operating entirely on manual power. I'm not sure where the manual power comes from. I don't think it's six pulling the the wings closed manually. He doesn't even have hands. Oh. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to swim that whole way. Because that would have taken ages. Uh, an unknown ancient site. This is the oldest site I found. Or if the loop theory is right, then this is like the next site to be found. Or something. Oh, it's pretty here. Yeah? We made our way between ancient clustered trees. The air seemed to hang from their branches, dank and heavy, like wet cloth. This is remarkable. This place is thriving. Without people on it, again. What lies in the heart of a forest? Water. Yes, true. Now where there is water, there will eventually be people. <laughs> Please try not to trip over your feet. Oh, oh, getting back chat from the robot now, calling me out for having feet. And to be fair, I did just get stuck on that route, so he might not be wrong. It's cold. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, is is water just running out in general in space? That's kind of what it feels like. Lots of the rivers are drying up. Elbreth doesn't have enough food. Lots of places and moons that we've been to used to have water and don't anymore. I think I actually am walking in circles. I think I might actually have got myself lost. Uh, no, it's fine, this is the way down. The path is just people. There is no one here. It could be like a deer track, if deer exist. That feels like quite the assumption to make about this place. Okay, curved marks in the stone under the moss. Some kind of enormous stone grinding creature? Could be from the blade of whatever tool dug this canyon. I can't think of anything capable of carving on this scale. You reckon this place was dug? <laughs> we are worryingly in sync sometimes. Entropy creates planes, not winding channels. That's not... That's not really how that works. I mean, we did know, I guess, that these people were like miner, miners and diggers who ever lived here. No, wait, that's the Steel Empire site, isn't it? They're the miners and diggers.
But yeah, no, rivers do quite frequently carve canyons, Six. Like, that's one of the things rivers are really good at. Another nice little bit as to how, like, we see the world differently from Six. Multiple kinds. A large number of types are required for this to be sustainable. They eat each other. <laughs> I have not needed to yet, mistress. How do you keep going? I'm powered by a small reactor of some kind. I do not know how it works or how long it will last. Oh, there's definitely a statue there. Must be a way through the trees to it. Yes. Well, there doesn't have to be, but there will be. Right. Something has been scratched into the rock. Highlighted by the moss. Words. Da da da. This is fractured, she says. Oh no, we've got lots and lots and lots of options here. That's never good. Right. Water. All. I like water all. Uh, give myself uh oh. <laughs> um, uh. What are we scratching? We're scratching the phrases. Yeah. Give. Water. All. Nebula. It gives water to all the nebula? Huh. Rise and wind. Hmm. Sailcloths, hoppers. Drinks makes the most sense in context. But then It doesn't look very much like drinks, does it? Hoppers? But I'm not sure why. Hoppers here give water to all the nebula. It's a water hopper. Someone draining this moon? No, oh, he likes that. We've considered the possibility of London's hoppers existing. That's true, we have. Is it going to turn out that wellsprings are like actually all just like long distance hoppers or something? That would be crazy. That would be a real turn up for the books. said there would be a moon. Point. Oh, planks, nails and screwed. Part of a ship or maybe just part of a house? Does not resemble any ship hull. An 
must have been small, apparently. Too small to sail. I can't imagine a boat of this size catching the wind, effectively. Did they aren't trust themselves to such a ship. Maybe a very small robot? I brushed away dirt and scraped away the moss. This, I'm sure, comes from somewhere impossibly distant. Interesting. Linked directly. I say this comes from the same side as the child's chart, the book we found earlier. What are we thinking? On Remba's lost observatory. We think these came from the observatory, do we? Blimey, okay. Oh, there's more writing. Wait, I've lost it. Where is it? Like an apple bristling with mould. And we're not gonna say that! Stop being rude to the robot! <laughs> is it gonna go off my screen? Is it gonna fade away with time? Normally they do. No, okay. Where is that text? Okay, fine, I'll say it. Oh, now it shows me the thing. Stop being rude to the robot, Alia! I don't even know what she said this was. A broken piece from a longer phrase. It's literally... Two words. <laughs> okay, we've got city wrong. We thought we might have city wrong. Garden? Does that tell us what this place is? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, oh, oh. Can't imagine such a ship sign because of space. This has been in water. Okay, that's useful. So it's been in water the planet side. Oh. Trees parted into a clearing around a listing statue. That's this lady. Nice to see a familiar face. I kind of wonder if the names on. Because uh, Mayazi had. That's that's a good point. Hmm. Is it some kind of mechanism? So you could look around. If you were going to make a base that spins, perhaps it would look like this. Undoubtedly. After all, the goddess would no doubt tire of looking at the same tree. You have an interesting way of thinking about the world, Six. Um, I wonder if the... Because Meiozi has a statue. This place has a statue. I wonder if, like, the names of the places that you put into the gate, the Elbreth Gate, are the names of the appropriate goddesses. <laughs> I can't remember what the names of any of the goddesses were. I don't know if we can actually read the ancient aloud. Uh -huh. 
so there used to be something here. It's certainly gloomy between all these trees. Oh, apparently Aura would like this. <laughs> oh, leave off six! Oh dear. An inscription. All of the words. Alright, Shaska is off to get bread out of the oven. Ooh, very jealous. What do we think? What do we think? I think Goddess is a good shout. I think gives water for the nebula. Seems like a. Will you let me have this? Seems like a sensible translation. Got a good feeling about that. Fits with the other inscription without. This place must have been some kind of shared source. An aquifer. Ooh. Are these glass render foils? No, okay, it's a hopper apparently. This is what the color mystery we found earlier was about. The water hopper. The hopper of the water goddess. Not only that, mistress, it is still working. It is radiating at this moment. <clears throat> Can I use this hopper? This hopper is directed at something on the ground. Even if you can make your way down there, think away from this hopper. Points towards Iox. Is this how Iox has water? If I have to shut this place down, please, mistress. I do not like to consider it. I do not suggest we tell them. I shall personally inform Professor Meyer at the earliest convenience. Oh dear, I see. What happens if a hopper signal is blocked? Connection no longer exists, therefore transfer does not take care. Whatever might have been relocated is not. Oh my god, we could just start like a full on revolution right here. <laughs> is she looking at something? Over this way. Oh, don't go! Don't leave! I haven't finished prodding! I haven't finished prodding the statue yet! You... Oh, you de ba This is rather fanciful, mistress. Perhaps. Perhaps. But we're going to see anyway. Uh, there's a third disc here. Only one of these hoppers is still intact. Where does it point to, Six? You don't know. Some we did not find. Interesting. Something for another playthrough? Or perhaps something that we just need to find later? So if I just put, like, a blanket over this then we changed the course of history. <laughs> That's terrifying. Six, do you understand how terrifying that responsibility is? Let's have a look down here before we make any earth-shattering decisions. Was there once something around here? Yes, six. There is something under the dust here. Dun dun dun! Oh my god, I've never seen you do that before. Oh, that looks very uncomfortable. Oh! A hatch. 
Let's see. I missed a key prompt. Here along the side. Writing. This one is a phrase. Run together. No. Water. Master of water waits below. Ooh. The master of the waters waits below. Finished. A master, which is interesting because not a goddess. Why is there a hatch in the middle of a forest? A good point. I mean, yeah, we need there was something on the ground. Right, in we go. No handle, no lock. Something hidden on the ground. can step back. Yeah, I can step back. Connections here that fit. Mechanism is similar to those in the old dock. Oh, okay, it's like a magnetic lock. Ka-chunk! Ground reservoir. Yeah, we work this out. You don't need to overdo the point game. Hatch, it's an access panel. To an underground reservoir. Robots could go down and clear it if it became blocked. Most likely a robot was positioned inside, hence the water. Careful says, how long could we send water from Earth to Mars like that? When would Earth be dry? Um, she just said something and I missed what it was, I think it was about blocking the disc. The ancients who built this place set the water goddess to look after the place. Perhaps Maezi once had the same setup. Good point. Well, Mars is smaller than Earth, right? So presumably, if we... If we drained Earth's oceans, it would be more than enough for Mars. Perhaps this site was once entirely underwater. Perhaps the boat we found was used to travel on the surface. And someone harvested that water using hoppers. That system has been working ever since. Ajax relies on it. Okay. Over time, two of the discs failed, the water level built up, enough to saturate the soil, allow the forest to grow. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think... I think water does sort of just leave again in this universe, because... You know, it, it goes off into space. I think probably because we're on moons that perhaps don't have enough... There are mushrooms growing down there. Oh, that's interesting. Mushrooms. <laughs> uh, even though it says we're playing out the water is in flux. There's a diagram on the inside of the, the, the lid. I don't know what it is. Diagram of the moon's fed by this place. Wires and cables for a machine. Is the statue covered in mushrooms? No. Oh, he's very grumpy about that. I also can't see what's down there. If this is an entrance, we should enter it. Is 
Can I just test for robots? I could anticipate a ramp. Perhaps it has collapsed. It's true, there is no way down. Well, we managed to successfully avoid annoying our robot companion again. Hmm. Is there a way past on this side? Like to somewhere else? Yes. Stones. No. Shells. Like the ones from the necklace we found outside the hermitage. How did they get here? Well, if this used to be underwater, then, then maybe they grew here. Okay, okay. Is there anywhere else to go here? Plot now by dirt and forest detritus. Curiously angled. There's nothing in this direction. We're at the edge of the nebula already. Nothing? I build the hopper without an eye. This hopper source will appear to be pointing in a direction similar to that of Rember's telescopes. Hopper's pointing something outside the nebula. So the observatory. It's across a vast tract of dead space, we know this. Short of wishing the river into existence, I do not think we can get there. This hopper transmits to is most likely a wellspring. Okay, it's definitely warm down here. There. Is there anything happening? <laughs> Perhaps. Very faint flow upwards. Something maybe in the sky. Needs more water. Oh, I see. Wellsprings sh cannot surely all be fed by other wellsprings. Water and air must originate somewhere. A good point. What if it's a cycle? What if there is a great loop after all? Hmm. So that needs more water to get wherever it's going. And we think that if the rivers of the springs are all a loop, how could they be drying up? The rivers are maintained by a network of active hoppers, passing water from place to place, it seems like there are inefficiencies. A little water loss on every transmission. Eventually drying out would be inevitable, that's terrifying. <clears throat> There's still water in flow, but soon. I cannot wait to tell the professor about this action of yours, mistress. Uh-oh. Mistress, you've broken something. Uh-oh. What kind of something? I can't see it. I'm detecting deep movement. Echoes from below. I can feel the water rising rapidly. Well, is there anything else happening? I'm observing, mistress.
Let's hold on nerve. Already the hopper all the same. Um, there are two other lenses on this Deus Six. This may transport water to multiple places. This is the distribution point. But when blocked. Good point. Hopper's filling up with dirt. Where the robots should be turning this machine? Uh oh. We're getting wet. Okay. Careful has has said, I want to make it sort of clear, leaving this plant with the source covered is a permanent decision. Alex will be breathing a sigh of relief once more. Something else has been uncovered, I think. See, I was hoping that uh, this one would start transmitting if we covered up the other one, because there'd be enough water for it. The hatches are designed for robots. Seems unlikely they would then require the use of legs. How did you open that hatch? Designed for me for a robot. I opened it as you might open the door with an unusual handle. Okay. I did recognize the design. What happens if we let this place flood? The water must eventually go somewhere. Perhaps it will flow into space. Perhaps it will create a river. Can return to this planet any time. Okay. There is a creative in the wellsprings. It would seem this moon has a powerful wellspring. What if the wellspring isn't a device at all? What if it's just the focus point of some other hopper? So wellsprings are just hoppers. Yeah, we, we figured this one out. Okay. Crumpled cloth. Hello. A flag. Embroidered with glyphs, mistress. Ooh, I like some glyphs. Tattered fragment from a longer phase. Uh, hi, Shaskor. We nearly shut off water supply to the Empire's capital moon. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Stars above and something below. And only only something below. Uh yeah. We Where did you leave? You left what, fifteen ish minutes ago? Um so the planet we're on is like a giant water distribution center teleporting water to other planets. And we're now sort of thinking that maybe all the rivers and all the wellsprings and sources of water everywhere are just the destinations for other hoppers like this, going round and round in an endless circle, transmitting water, and everything is drying up as you sort of slowly lose little bits of water in the process of transmitting it round and round again forever. Uh... One of the, 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 the hopper eyes here points out to the observatory that we need to get to, the actual vault in the title of Heaven's Vault. I was hoping to try and send some water that way, but I lost my nerve. <laughs> uh, what have we got here? Stars above and only... Stupidity! That would be great! Uh, I think this is a thinking. Foolishness below. I love that. Uh, there must have been a pole here once to have the flag on it, marking the hatch. Makes sense. Uh, there was going to be an option for me to get some rope from the ship. And now it's disappeared. I need something I can cover the disc with. How about this dented copper box from Rembrandt's dig site? I don't think I do want to permanently starve water to Iox, you know. I'm just gonna, just gonna put that out there. 
Oh, you know what I could do if I covered it? Oh, hello, what's this? A rock. Perfect. A nice sharp flint. Mistress, please. I do not like to see you armed. I was carrying around an axe earlier, Six. Can you remove the glass, Six? To do what? I could smash it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Now leave it be. Okay. Don't want to break this thing and draw it by by mistake. Exactly. Exactly. I wonder... Because here's, here's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is if I put the box on here, then the water rushes up out of the hatch. I can get in the water, and then Six moves the the box, and I could could sort of float safely back down with the water. That would be my thinking. But I don't think the game is thinking that, but I dread to think what the game is thinking. Uh, also, I've got a sneeze. Hang on. Ah, my apologies. I am back. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Um, yeah, so so while I was away, they were sort of saying, hmm, there might be a drought coming that can't be stopped, and that's not good news. Which, it isn't. Uh, oh, I've been, I have been hijacked. We've collected two promising artifacts, scratch, rock, hammer, and the flag. Creators on Iox will be pleased. This place was linked to somewhere truly distant. I don't know of anywhere else to go here. Sorry, I, I was stalling for too long. Oops, I accidentally wandered back. Let's have another last look around, see if there's any other places that I can get to from here. Ah. Maybe I'm too chicken. Maybe I'm too chicken. I'm definitely not smashing the glass. Okay, there's definitely nowhere else over there. There's nowhere else past the hatch. Looking around, I can't see anywhere else to go from here. Oh my gosh. Ask yourself, would Alia smash the glass? I don't know. Alia's not a nice person. I'm not really sure if she's like a revolutionary or particularly like a murderer. Um, are you ready to go? Not just yet. I have another look around. See if there's anywhere else to go from here. Right, so that goes down to the boat. This is mostly sort of back the way we came, isn't it? This is fairly linear. No branching paths. Hmm. What I really need is a is a mini map. Maybe the devs didn't make the game for you, but for Alia. 
that's I'm not that's cryptic. I'm not sure what that even means. Uh Someone with as much disregard as her. <laughs> Now we're back to the sort of open directionless bit of the forest. Okay. Hmm. There don't seem to be many alternate routes, or any alternate routes in fact. So we probably are safe to just head home. Because we're in a sort of a, a small valley here. So this feels a lot more linear than it was before. And it's also come to a dead end. That has confused me. Because I didn't think there was a dead end here before either. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, unfortunately, there's no way for me to like talk to Six and say, "Let's go back home." Fourteen flows to find this place. The last forest moon isn't empty. We found a listing goddess. Curious hatch in the ground leads to some sort of reservoir. It seems to be some kind of aquifer. The path beyond the nebula begins here. Hmm. Oh, I'm stuck. For this sake. Could, they, could you not have made that gap between the bushes traversable, devs? Also, could you not have given me a run button, devs? If this place is hoppering away water, maybe it doesn't have a wellspring at all. Maybe this is just like a destination, a one way sort of thing. Hmm. Running requires a whole set of other animations. Well, maybe. A lot less frustrating animations. Uh, okay, so I think I can get him to, to tell me that we can go home. If I go back to the statue and then leave the statue again. Oh, I want to mess around with the with the with the box, but I probably shouldn't. Even though we don't really like Iox that much. Or at all. We shouldn't poke the bear, poke the bear. I feel like Rally wouldn't fit the theme. Should you be able to talk to Six and Lost Leave? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would. Honestly, that would do. Where is Six? Did we leave him behind? <laughs> Can I get careful in chat? If I put the di the box on the disc, is that a reversible decision? Can I undo having done that? Oh, Shaska's been auto modded for something. I'm not sure why. I also don't know how to un auto mod you having done that. Allow, there we go. Huh.
Um. Look like a lady was apparently a, a permitted term. Uh, was apparently a not permitted term. I don't know why. <laughs> but but that wasn't the last. Uh, I suppose, I guess you could interpret that as a person stuck in a barrel. Uh... <laughs> exactly, Shasko, exactly. Um... Okay, apparently the box is reversible. So I'm going to make Six very upset and put the box on the disc. Here it goes. The surface is flooding more quickly. Most likely the did not entirely fall last time. Okay. What can I do? Water is warm. Good. Probably. Oh, I still can't go down the hatch. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, you can't do it. Iox will suffer. Something else is happening. I cannot tell what yet. Iox will survive. They can go and beg the Maeosians for help. Mistress, the water appears to have stopped rising. As though the pressure below ground has dropped. And Mistress, something is forming in the sky above us. Oh my god, is it going to rain? New river? Tell me we've just made a river. Where does it go? There's only one way to find out. So there's a new river above us. Okay. No, we're not leaving it like this! Uh, that would be pretty absurdly dangerous to turn to a small hatch filled with water. Even the person way, way more fit than Alia could do it. Okay, perhaps. Um, right. Okay, so. We are the first people in maybe several hundred years to create a river. That's lovely. Can we go now, Six? Are you ready to go now, mistress? Let's go. Okay. Hoppering away. Do me a favor and show me your map. Uh, I imagine you're going to see it in just a second. For the lighting gale. We return to the ship and sprang up into the water. It's going to say we should go to Iox. And I'm like, hmm, I don't want to go to Iox after what I just did. <laughs> Let's wait until Six accidentally has an accident. Um, and then we can go back to Iox. Oh no. Well, we'll find an excuse to leave Six behind. The rivers here are not quite as they were. There is a very faint new, s new flow. From the hopper I cleared out? Oh, we've made two rivers today! New river. Not a river. A trickle. Okay. Where does it go? Away. Somewhere distant. Maybe we can come back here later. Okie dokie. Why does he always say that when I look out the window? Does he not like me looking out the window? Okay. Let's up we go. I'll prepare the sheets, mistress. No, we're not going to bed, Six. Uh, okay, right. Here's a map. For us, that's where we are. You still have the crown. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> oh, we've narrowed that down a lot. Ooh. 
Have you avoided going to Ajax the entire playthrough? Yes. I have only set foot on Ajax at the start of the game so far. I actually don't even have the option to go to Ajax right now. Ooh! Ooh! That's interesting. That's a really interesting little uh, development. There's an ancient site up here. I don't think we can get there yet. Don't know enough to find it. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, I'm, I'm much too keen on this. Um, there doesn't seem to be any any rivers or space around us at all, so I don't know where we're going from here. But we're going to this... Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're not going to that ruin. We can get back, no worries. So on Elberath, friend the mechanist Oroi, trade a tapping that helped me identify the source of the hefty book. I could go there next. Um... It, I think it's always good to visit Elbreth as often as possible. Just to clear out all the things we can show to Tappy. Uh, get more stuff from Timor, because he's usually got interesting stuff. I want to see if there's anything more going on with the child and the the moon as well. Oh, okay. Sending to Elbreth and Eagle's Pass. There's an unexplored river to the right. Oh wow, we, we can't even see the map here. At all. Okay, interesting. I hope you're right about this, Six. <laughs> I wonder where we... Okay, now we're allowed to see the, the map. A little bit from here on out. Gotcha. Path turns left, mistress, and so should we. Hmm. I'm slightly concerned that going back here might trigger a revolution. If we tell him more about the whole, you know, wellspring thing, but I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> the Fiedler Revolution. Like, you know, I'm an archaeologist, and what I definitely don't want is for all of my grant funding to be removed. Uh, ooh! Ooh, hello. Well, I think I've just done, like, a full spin. Oh my god, it's all cloud and everything up here. Blimey! Okay, so that's quite a long way from the old ancient aquifer. No. Okay. So I can go back here if I want to. Yeah, I feel the only way forward is beyond. Yeah. Oh, we're going on another sort of interesting detour around as well. You don't have anything to say, Six? <clears throat> we just made, like, one of the most important discoveries in the history of everything. For, like, the third time <laughs> this game. <laughs> oh, I like this bit of the... Nebula, though, the clouds and stuff. Oh, I should maybe have turned right. I should definitely have turned right. I have no idea where turning right would have taken me. Oh no, that's a disaster. Can I? No, I can't. I can't 
reset before making a right turn, a correct turn. I can only reset after I make a wrong turn. Right, it's fine. We're just going to... Oh! We're going to go back around the loop. It's fine. We're going to see where that takes us. Oh, there's something on the right there, but I didn't get to see it. Whoosh. Ah, we're in Eagle's Pass. We're not far now. We're going to take two left turns. Oh, I guess that goes around to here, actually. So that's not that interesting of a detour. What's still have been a kind of interesting detour? I don't know, every time I see like a... a, a path that ends in nowhere, I want to go down it. <laughs> um, we'll leave it. We'll, we'll go back to Elbereth. I will not put off my responsibilities towards the La Revolution. Uh, even though I've been putting off my responsibilities towards Iox. To the right. You got it, six. Okie doke. I love that I say all these alleys will always be my home. Oh, well, that's sweet. This is Elbereth, just now. Okay, let's go see Timor and discuss the matters of war. <laughs> um. Oh, hello. That's not good news. It's a barricade. Uh. Uh. Well, that's really bad news. Is he in there? I can't see his little character model in there. Um... That... isn't good. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Timor is? No, I guess you don't. Um... <laughs> uh... I guess we can ask, like, Tappy and Co about it, but... That little dot, the approach the gate dot, is very tricksy to try and get. Set by Akira Far. Iferali. No, is it set Iferali? Set by Akira No, okay, we still don't have any ideas. Set by Akira Far. Well, the market's still busy. It's not like there's been some general disaster. Where's that guy again? Oh. <laughs> Hi Tappy! Alia, come on in! Hey Tappy, do you have any idea 
No, okay. You have no idea where Timur is, I guess. <clears throat> right. It's a hammer. You're going to turn your nose up at it. Ooh. Ooh. It's been a while since he's had something to show us. Right, a book filled with minute glyphs. Some writing on the cover. This one is a faded piece from even longer phrase. Uh, oh, I like secret. Baru. This book, something through secrets. That's a long title. Yes, okay, K okay, makes sense. Let's put King Two Secrets. This comes from the same source as the book, The Dented Sextant. This is helping us pinpoint the ancient site. I'm gonna have this. <clears throat> Books are pretty useful. Ask another question. Broken serpent statue fashioned from wood. I think I can also show him the book that I just got from him. <laughs> Something of a similar period. Thin god model carved from brass. Its back looks like it's decorated in characters from an ancient script. Da da da! Characters from an ancient script, you say? <laughs> well, it's lucky I'm here. Rivers of gods. Something fast. Sail fast, perhaps? Ooh, blow fast. I quite like blow fast. Or flow fast. Most likely this comes from the same place the axe and the scratched lantern. Must have been common to move between these two sides. Okay. This is the Steel Empire site. Oh yeah, we haven't actually been to the Steel Empire site, have we? Whoops. Uh, no thanks. You always say that. An ancient hefty book covered in tiny diagrams. Oh no, this is a different book. Okay, fair if not exemplary. Should be able to shift it. Uh, something of a similar period. Okay, Tappy. Here we are. Golden telescope? Oh. Telescopes. Quite useful. What have we got? Oh! Oh! Thing, yes, okay, thing. Because cause this is... This is, uh, like, me or possibly myself, I can't remember which. So this is thing of myself, thing in front of me. This, that's this. Thing. Uh... Remember, hold this thing before you... Use. Hmm. It? It would make sense from context, and we've got this as its. Remember, hold this thing 
flat before you use it? Allowing <laughs> <laughs> this to be helpful in putting down where these were made. This will help us look at the ancient site. You've seen it. Ugh. Telescopes. Interesting. Telescopes are very interesting to us. Probably more interesting than books. We might be able to use the telescope. Hmm. What you give me will keep me in business for a week! Okay, right, that's it. Or Tappy. We can head outside. Toodles. We've been able to narrow down the ancient site now, which is excellent news. On the other case, an interest, an ancient site. Perhaps we return to the ship now, mistress. Are you kidding? Can we just be nice about it? Don't say don't hassle me and don't blank him. Just ah, just say no. A pleasant no, thank you would be fine, Alia. Honestly, honestly. Right. Bong. Wait a few seconds. And then bong again. I don't know why she always ignores the first bong. Hi there, Ari. I don't think I have anything for you, but I thought I'd stop by just in case. Oh yeah, Timor. What's up with Timor? No. I heard he was gone. By the stars, don't tell me you did for him as well. Of course I didn't. What do you mean, did for him? D dude I wasn't finished! I think she was ignoring me. DUDE! Come on! Okay, it was not my fault that Timor left. At all. Did for him. Did for him. Honestly. Honestly. Right, six, you can take me back now. We just gotta do the awkwardly long experience of walking back before he says, Oh, can I take you back? Is she saying you got him killed? I think so! I'm not sure how! Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, so... Timor, hmm... I'm not even sure how anything we did, like, could have got him in trouble. Unless the, the child ratted him out, I guess. Ow. I like how it's still telling me I need to go to Iox when I literally can't go to Iox anymore. <laughs> Okay, so, well, no Vive La Revolution then, uh, can I just look out the window in P6, just for once, time to move on, kind of in the game to tell you you're lying when you don't know the truth, yeah, yeah, the game is like that sometimes. I guess it's not very good at knowing exactly what I have and haven't, like, done or said or worked out.
Right. Hmm. So we're going to actually try and go this way properly this time. And not get distracted. Uh, <clears throat> will we be successful? Who knows? By the river ahead, eh? Oh, let's go left then. I want to go that way. Are you sure you can't go to Iox? Fairly sure? Yeah. To my knowledge, apparently I can go back to Elbreath. I can go here, and then I can go to these two sites. As far as I'm aware, those are the only places that I know of that I can go to. I kind of want to go down this side route, but I know that last time I went down the side route, I did get very distracted. In fact, I think I was trying to go down this route before. Okay. Where am I? For one thing. And where do I need to go for another thing? A path continues straight on. Neither of these ways is straight on, Six. There's a left and a right. But whatever. Ooh. Wow, it really wanted me to go around to the left of that tiny little spike. Um, uh oh. Oh boy. Yeehaw. Bless the rivers. I don't think the rivers need any blessing at the moment. Oh. Hello. A ruin. Love to see it. I guess it dates from the Steel Empire. Dented iron candle holder. Carved with the impression of a gear. Words. Words, words, words. What have we got? We've got a give. Way. Oh. Up isn't looking too hot, is it? Yeah. This is give with movement on the end, so that's send. Send away. Ah, oh, we think this is dark, so perhaps this is darkness. This is like something of dark. So this is darkness. Okay. Send away darkness. It's a candle, so it sends away darkness. I suppose that makes sense. Do do do. We're on the right track. Not sure it really mattered which way we went around that tiny little loop, but okay game. We've got two ways to go from here. Right or left? I think we want to go left.
And one of those little bits where it sort of splits up and becomes all wiggly and, and crisscrossy. Even though those are normally right next to somewhere. Whereas you know these the Steel Empire site is all on here. Because like it's here it gets like that, here it gets like that. Hmm. Also to some extent it gets like that there as well. Hmm. I don't suppose there is something here that will be here later, perhaps. Actually, if there were, there'd be ruins and stuff pointing to that. Instead of ruins pointing to the Steel Empire site. Over to the left will bring us to the Steel Empire site. Right, you are six. Ooh. And to a lovely house. It's a ruin from the Steel Empire! What a surprise! A battered, robust chisel. Handle has been inscribed. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Lots of the, the little sort of triangle symbols. How's the earthy symbols? Comes. I feel like I know that one. But I don't have it here. Hmm. Do I have any more things I can put down? Oh, yeah. From something comes something, from work comes life. Okay. From something comes something, from work comes life. But these are the same words. Hmm. From metal comes metal? Got no clue. You're more confident about it than I am, Ali or Lazara, or whatever the hell your name is. Uh, uh oh, I missed a turning. Uh -huh. I think this comes from the place we're after. It must be nearly there. Oh, hello. I think that's the room we just found. Ignore the next branch. Which one? <laughs> do, 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 water. Right, I guess we're heading over this way. Oh, I like this. I wish there was a little more camera angle control, but I like this. why Alia dislikes robots so much, because I, w I wouldn't be able to do anything without them. I'm completely used to just a human on my own. 
you know, Six can scan stuff, he can open doors for me, he can visit airless ruins for me, he can do all sorts of stuff for me. I can't do any of that. The only thing I'm contributing to this whole exercise is, like, decision making. Uh, well, we're here. Sculptor's Canyon? That's a great name! She's envious? Maybe, I don't know. She, she doesn't strike me as the envying type. Uh, you want the left one? I can't tell if that is a path joining us or a path leaving us. That's a path joining us, apparently. Okay, swish. He's gonna say he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know. Do I know? Yeah, we turn right. Uh, if it's not too late. There we go. This is cool. This is very cool. What time is it? 2.12, okay. Not the rock. Not the rock! Left. We'll continue our search. <clears throat> uh... I don't think they do. I think we want the waters to the right, Six. I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm an argumentative sort, but I feel like it's justified this time. I can't see very far through the sort of fog and haze of the nebula. How can the hopper eyes make contact across space? Because, like, there's clouds in the way. Can hoppers see through clouds? Sometimes when you find a place... You find it overflowing with humanity, with life, with joy, with family, struggle, <laughs> flames that burn so brightly they can still be seen as dancing shadows, hundreds, thousands of years later. I feel like this is not... And then yeah. <laughs> I think this is a place more or less by and for robots. Seems not like he's ever occupied. Perhaps something happened. <laughs> the soil here is rock dust. The air is no more than backwash. Nothing has ever grown here. And yet there are Railway tracks. Are they quarrying? Seems likely. Hmm. Oh, writing. Just above the dust. Uh, it's upside down, Alia. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have 
we never had to deal with upside down writing before? <laughs> Mechanical. Or free. No. Okay. <laughs> free. Something are free. Mechanical. I can amortize those for free to my dictionary. And then we've got... What I sort of thought was robot. Um... Slaves? People? Robots? To be fair, if we hadn't seen those symbols plenty already, how do you tell which way they are up and down? Good point! Oh, we've got some, some disturbing dialogue options. There's always been the slaves. Hooray. What a wonderful, uplifting game. Nah, they're not trying to be. Oh. Nothing. I must have been mistaken. What is this place? Well, it's a mine. I'd say haven't you ever seen a mine before, but honestly, who knows with this universe, what is and isn't common knowledge. She has the word in her language for aquifer, but like, I don't think aquifers exist apart from the one that we just found. So... Well, given that we found the word slave, I'm guessing an army of workers. Why would anyone live here? This place is terrible. How did anyone live here? Also, why this stone here in particular? Like... What's special about the rock here that meant it... was carved here instead of just out of... any old floating piece of debris of which we've passed thousands of them up in space? I thought this place was used by sculptors. I was expecting an artist's commune, not a mine. And of course you intend to go in. Of course we do, Six. It will be dark down there, mistress. Try not to trip over your feet. You've said that twice now. The wind died as we entered the tunnel. Small mercies. Okay. It was ice cold and smelled of rust. Mm, yum. into a wide open space through all the murky dark I could make out shapes clinging like spiders to the rock what an inefficient track setup I don't like it here mistress are you capable of liking anything six? Chasm in the rock appears extremely deep. Proceed with caution. Duly noted. I haven't seen construction like this before. The site is older than the Empire, Mistress. Older than Iox, at least. How can you tell? Metal interlaced with stone and clay. Significant engineering skills must have been lost. We knew knowledge had been lost. I mean, look at you. Do you wonder where it all went? That is an excellent. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh oh. Please do not do that. That is balanced by chance. It is not stable. Okay. I can also push the cart aside, but first, I want to have a look at all this stuff. Crates. If we could open these, it might tell us what this place was for. But 
the nailed shot. Don't we have a crowbar? Haven't we had a crowbar for ages? Yeah, I don't think all this was for statues, although I'm not sure what it was for just yet. Something is a jar. Robots. Hmm. Robots law is fair? Well, that's slightly Orwellian. But okay. Maps! Of course I noticed. Maps means robots. Did robots break into the wrong place we visited before? Zed, that there. Robots did not use hand tools, mistress, for the obvious reason. Any chance there are still some robots here? We could ask them what they were doing. <laughs> I was buried on Ark for some considerable time, did not impair my functionality. Good point. Well, that's I didn't really want to walk through it, I wanted to to see what it was about. Functionality appears simple. Let me see. Boop. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure, thanks, Six. That wasn't terrifying. At all. Why would a robot need to guard the bridge control like that? Exactly like the turret we saw before. Our oh, docking ready to move. Hmm. Seems robots get everywhere. Robots can only be lost, as you have lost several, oh dear. Oh no. Mistress, you have returned. Oh, you're gonna let go now. No, don't be mean to the robot. Do not. No being mean to the robot. Can I? Oh, can I? Thank you. <laughs> Why would someone do that? Make it work or to stop it from working? Any inscriptions? No. I had expected something. Well, the robots don't need to read, do they? Please do not go off exploring again. What do you think we're here for, Six? Oh, wow. Big writing. Your work makes rivers flow. Huh. Don't be mean to the robot, I'll draw 25 cards. Yeah, basically. Hmm. Stuck on something. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this big writing here feels very like. Work will set you free. Not to be too blunt about it. Maybe it was broken to keep something in. I think there's a monster down here? <laughs> okay, well, I'd like you to uh, to turn that back on now, please, Six. If you'd be so kind. Bring the walkway up again, Six. So I can get across safely. Boop.
Six. Let her down. It had been made to house rows and rows. I, I can't hear you over the clanking. Um. Hi, Six. This place could have swallowed that place without a burp. So I cannot reach you, Mistress. The iron cart has moved. There's a gap I cannot jump. Can't you hopper over it? No. I didn't think there would be. Why can't we go to the massive underground hangar in Elbreath, huh? That's the place I want to go to. I bet there's writing down there. Hi, Six. Ah! Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, well... You'll return to the ship? Don't do that. That won't help. I'm gonna dig up some more robots, don't you? I want to find out what's going on. More rails up there. There's no way I can jump that gap. Yeah, okay. So that's what that bit was for. Hmm. Was it destroyed by people or by robots? I'll be back soon, Sex. Hello? Grey buildings watched me with empty eyes. I don't think they did. I'm fairly sure they don't have any. Empty or otherwise. Okay, well, we'll do this systematically. Oh, there's a bit in the rock back there. We'll do that afterwards. Artifact. Cloth, beds. There must have been whole families down here. You know, I feel like any half competent real world archaeologist would be able to do so much more with all the stuff that Alia has just like laying out in front of her than what she does. Like, we find a whole book and she's able to translate like one bit of text off the front cover. You know? I'm not saying I could do better. I'm just saying that, that, that people could do better if they've been doing this their whole life. We're going to see in the pages are withered, I guess. Well, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. These panels are, are different, are they? They look exactly the same to me. Oh, 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 okay. Scratched symbols. We must not lose hope. Okay, so this was how the, the Steel Empire fell. Let's see. Wiring. Get my hand down to here. Hi, Six. Stop. Come on. Come on, little rabbit. Right, and then we gotta pull it apart again. How are we gonna How are we gonna get back? Just just out of out of curiosity. Get him up there. This dress, I feel stuck. Uh, okay. Okay, 
let's disconnect this one, he'll get over here to us. Now you probably are stuck. I'll be with you shortly. Good, good. Good, good, six. Okie doke. So. Mistress. You made it across. Walkways are apparently most stable. I still believe we should hop her back, however. Yes, well, you would, wouldn't you? Now, come with me. We're going to investigate this cool little, uh, little nook in the rock that's over here. <gasps> oh, that's a talking stone! Oh! Hello? Hello? Interesting. So I need to build bricks in here. That's a good point. Each brick is carved. Names. That's in the Elberethian way. Oh dear. This is this a more memorial to dead slaves? Two to three hundred. One slower down the older, as one would expect. Three hundred and sixteen. Thanks. How did you do that? From out there. <laughs> Good to know, six. Good to know. You've got like X ray vision or something. I'll wear lead-lined pants in future. What is this place? Hmm. Can't get up there. Okay, let's have a look at this. Like the ones in the Empress Graveyard, a grave. A grave marker, anyway. Uh, it says something on it. It does look like there's a... A hole for a, a render foil. Otherwise, we could talk to What's His Face again. That is the end of some text. They remember the fall, and I'm guessing. Some more. Yes, we figured that out. Thanks. Hmm. Mistress. Da -da -da. Okay, Six, um, I'm going deeper, I suppose. No, I need, I need, yeah, I need you to do this one. That's just, I do not approve. <laughs> That's okay, you don't have to approve. At this point, I'm not super certain we're gonna let you get back to Iox ever intact. I'm so sorry, Six. Uh, I may have unintentionally signed your death warrant. But if it's a choice between you and the revolution, Oh, don't be mean! Oh my god! Alia! Perfectly safe, dot dot dot, probably. Um, are you going to hold the troll long enough for me to go down, Six? No, wait, I don't want to go down. No, I don't want to go down. Yeah, okay, good. 
Uh, the six use X rays of echolocation for perception. Deep pits had been popped down into the rock. While overhead, a natural opening yawned into space. Hmm. But it's not light here like it was outside. Uh, six can go to Alex once we're dead. Yeah, or that. What? When one of us is dead, six. The other one could go back to Iox. Uh, does Six use X-rays or echolocation? I don't know. I think he has like generic scientific multi-spectrum scanner type things. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Right. There's a big hole with a crane. And a ladder. Now ladders mean this is human area, not not robot area. God, I have good eyes to make out those symbols from this distance. <laughs> um, something time bring. Uh oh. I don't think it's going to let me have this one. Uh, careful, says, please look at the incredibly sus stones on the floor. It bothers me to no end that the last three playthroughs I watched ignored them. Hang on, I'm going to have to go back and, and figure out which ones you think the incredibly sus stones are. <laughs> Okay, so this has bra the word brain in it. Something drowned? Uh, I don't know. Strike in time, perhaps? Right, which ones are we thinking of the incredibly sus stones on the floor? The ones I, I just saw? Like these ones. Are these the incredibly sus stones? You know that feeling when something sticks out like a sore thumb to you, but other people don't see it. It's a weird feeling. Yes, these ones. I clicked on them, and she said, there's some weird stones here. Oh, oh, I didn't know that would happen. Oh! Oh, thank you very much. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh god! I'm going to maybe unthank you. Um, that's complete. Save us. The people who worked here, <clears throat> they were trapped. Did the robots leave them down here? <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, this was the robot empire. Alia, I don't think they had ethical cores back then. Maybe that's why they have ethical cores. They're also relevant. Yeah. Well, if they've got a thing that says save us, then that must mean that they think there's someone up there to do the saving. Which is also interesting. Right, what's this one? Seems to go on forever. You don't want to fall in. That's okay, because you're going to climb in. Wait. There's another dot. Drop in a stone. <laughs> Clink. Even any statue could need. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, Alia, but I don't think this is just about statues. Let's just, I can see you. Please do this. Or what, robot? They wouldn't, Alia! Hmm. Sorry, robot. Tunnels. 
I'm honestly surprised it let me do that. Uh, oh, this place isn't safe. I'm losing health, but I'm not sure what from. My head was spinning. Okay. Uh oh. Of course he can't bloody hear me. No, okay, there's nothing down there. Uh I'm not in control of this. Come on, come on, go down the corridor into the radioactive light. Ancient. I can stop my head from spinning, I'll have to read them. I hope my health doesn't go down while I'm doing this. I think it might. Ah, uh, okay, okay, we're speeds translating something. Uh, Withering Palace. Fall. The Withering Palace will fall. Oh, okay. Alia! I can't move either. I'm stuck. Ugh. Left here and went to the Withering Palace. They broke down the walls and released the robots. Maybe. Alia! Alia! Oh, there are other marks here. There is around the Withering Palace, perhaps. Where did they go after the palace? Our miners. Okay. What the plan is... The plan is to climb up, regen health, and then see if we can come back down and go further that way. Ooh! That was close! Pressure! Hi, Six! Let's just please come back. Um. Maybe I will. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm uh, mistress. Please not climb down the ladder. <laughs> I implore you. I'm sorry, six. I gotta do it. I won't be down there long. If I am down there long, I'll die. So I can't be down there long. I'll have a look at this ladder. Does this do anything? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, apparently I can't get back down. Never mind. Once is enough. Oh well. I hope we found everything we needed to find then. <laughs> That's where we can go down by the other ones. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Did we though? We will never know. Well. There we go, I just sort of slightly disappeared for a second. That's fine. Bump. Hi there, Six. Right, okay, I'm gonna send you back and then you bring me back. Hey, okay, Six. Mistress! Da -da -da -da. Which one do I need to do? I think it's this one. Did you check out these buildings already? I think so. I just sort of found some cloth and then there's... Oh, I suppose I haven't checked them out with six. Um...
Yeah. I haven't checked out with six, but there wasn't much in here. Robots around this place, people die down here. How could they, Six? I cannot explain the mistress. I can explain, Six. The people here were prisoners. And the robots were the guards. When the robots left, they left the people here to die. Oh, good. Well, did the robots leave? I mean, probably? But, like, the slashed wiring is very... Uh, I sort of... I need you to go... Um, can you... Hang on. Which one was that? Six, I sort of need you to, to, to go on that one and then stay there, please, so that you can send me back. Uh... Six, can you stay here? No? No! Stay! No! Oh dear. Idiot robot. Right, okay. Oh. Well, that hasn't helped anyone. Uh... <laughs> Which combination of, of buttons do I have to press to get six to go across? Or do I have to go across? And then... I have to try and activate the other ones, I guess. Perhaps. He'll come. Uh... Don't you have to do what I tell you to do? No. <laughs> I'm reuse a mistress. I don't see that happening. Good point. Good point. Okay, well, if you're going to be a pain and not let me get home, I'm going to go home without you. That's what I'm going to do.
Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't want you to be left behind, you idiot robot. I would like you to come with me. Oh, thank God for that. He's helping himself back. Well, apparently, there's something written here. <laughs> uh, lift us. Ah, oh, he's back. Hi, six. Lift the earth. Okay. Short and sweet. Hello, six. Well, you weren't behaving. So, you had to offer yourself. It looks like a beetle. I hope you didn't smash whatever was inside. Haha! <laughs> we use robots to make sculptures. Can we? What do you mean, after a fashion? They reproduce structures from internal representation. They are less good than humans at holding chisels and reaching up. <laughs> I think robots made the sculpture on Mayo's. No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thanks, Six. Um, okay, now we smushed it. Maybe we, if we pushed the cart aside, we would have done something different. Evidently. Could these robots be different? That'd be kind he could extract your core. That'd be the lying toad. I've never heard of an altered robot. Robots are made as they are made. But we found the robots that don't have faces because they had them on Renaki. Hmm. Robots capable of harm. That's a terrifying idea. Well, as long as it's not like a contagion. Oh wow, really? Nothing will let. Nothing will will send me back. Servos, they were called. Yeah. Didn't you just say that nothing would convince you to operate this? You didn't take a lot of convincing, honestly. Let it go, let it go. I don't actually want it up. I was just testing to see if you would. <clears throat> Wait, I had a dot there when he was doing the walkway. And now I don't have it. Sorry for going back and forth on this a little bit. <clears throat> uh... Oh, they're just both ways of saying you can let it go. Okay, sure, whatever. <clears throat> well, anyway, we're out of here. Come on, Six. Let's head back. I kind of... <laughs> you would say nothing of worth here, mistress. Okay, right, good. Thanks. That makes me feel so much better. That's the first time he's ever said that. I feel like there was more down in that hole. I was expecting to be able to go back. I was not expecting that it wouldn't let us go back. Hmm. Don't like that. Don't like that at all.
Hmm. Okay, well... We're getting fewer and fewer places to go. Uh, but that is going to be it for today, because it is four minutes to uh, three. Time for us to end. Keffel says next playthrough. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, we're drastically sort of running out of options for what to kind of do. Uh, and we're not really getting very much closer to going to the observatory. The only way that might take me to the observatory is by starving Iox of all its water. Uh, which isn't ideal, honestly. Uh, but that's a, a quandary for next time. <laughs> One place left, then time to kill Iox. Oh dear, I don't feel like I've handled this particularly well. Uh... Actually, that's not true. I feel like I have completely mishandled this entirely in every way, shape, and form at every stage. I didn't even buy the gecko! That's how badly I mishandled this game. I didn't even buy the gecko. Uh... <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that is going to be it from me uh, for today. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed watching. Uh... If you have, then if you're here with me on Twitch, uh, do remember to leave a little follow down below. Uh, if you're watching the VOD later on YouTube, then firstly, hello, all, all VOD goblins. Uh, and secondly, uh, do remember to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, if anyone's watching who has not seen all the previous parts of Heaven's Vault, then there's lots on my YouTube channel. Living there in perpetuity. You can see all of the horrible failures. Uh, my friend Quietus One has literally just gone live, so I'm gonna set off a little raid. Oh, I'm not because she doesn't have her raids set up, does she? There we go. Oh, she's got raids on now. Uh, yeah, so I will, will send people over that way. Uh, it's been lovely having you, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra!